Hey YouTube, thought I'd show off uh, my latest project here. I've kind of been on a vice kick lately. And uh, these styles right here, this is made in Poland. It's got the FPU on it. And this one, uh, when I bought it, I might insert some uh, photos here. It had a Fowler sticker on the side. And then like a just a warning sticker back here not to uh pound on this with a hammer actually it is kind of weird you know they put this anvil on the back and then they warn you not to actually bead on it but uh <clears throat> oh i got th this one and another one i will show it to you i drove uh like 530 miles one way to buy a pair of these off a guy up in Michigan. He was He's kind of a vice collector himself, but he's more interested in the old American iron than he was these Polish ones. And he had a, another one on top of this. Uh, he said it was a high test model. Now, from what I, I, it's, I think these are all made by one company in Poland, which my best guess is... Uh, uh, the Bison Bile Company. I don't know that as fact. There's actually, I mean, you try and research these things, and uh, there's just not a whole lot of information available on them. At least, you know, in English that I can find. But uh, I'll give you a quick look around it here. It's a four inch jaw, or what they would call a hundred millimeter. So it's four inches wide or 100 millimeter. It does have this stamp on it here. I don't know if that'll show. It says a 7501. So maybe that's the date of manufacture of, uh, you know, January of 75. And there is on the sl slide in here, it just says uh, 100. That's when I, you know, through some research, people said, you know, check the top of that, and you might be able to find something out, but it's only engraved by 100. If this will show here, you can see it is, does say, made in Poland. I think I got really lucky on this, you know, no one put a pipe cheater on it and, like, bent the handle over the years which is you know pretty common on old vices or someone will put a cheater bar on it to really clamp something tight and then the handle will end up getting bent or they beat on them with a hammer I was lucky that it didn't happen to the either one of the ones that I got and even you know these side handles you see these bent up a lot too where it swivels to lock it This, this thing is very smooth operating. Nice good jaw alignment. And the jaws they are not beat up at all. You know, no hacksaw marks over the top. Which I was very happy to see. And also, I got very lucky that none of the screws or bolts in this thing were uh, froze up when I disassembled it for the aerosol overhaul. <laughs> like these screws and stuff. You can see, you know, the heads are very clean, not stripped out at all. And even the the jaws themselves, the screws that hold them in, nice and clean, came out very easily. And these screws on the side that you adjust the alignment with. I will say, you know, you see some Guys, there's, you know, there's a few videos here on YouTube of uh, guys overhauling vices. And a lot of times these screws are stuck. You see them, you know, they put the screwdriver in with a wrench. And 
to me, that's that's just a hopeless. I went and so you know, if you're doing an old vice and trying to get these screws out, uh, the best advice I can give you is buy an impact driver. I think that would work much better than some of the other methods I've seen uh, some other people here on YouTube use. And don't this is a proto model? Don't have to be a proto. You know, I think that'd be a much better option for these when you come across these stuck screws in the jaws. Like I said though, mine weren't stuck at all. There's a couple on the back here. Two that uh, hold the vice nut. The paint that I'd use to uh, paint this, it's the Rust-Oleum Hammered and the color is verde green. I got I'm not real wild on this color. The other one I'm doing here, it's going to be a different color. Just I'm I'm not a fan of that color. It's the closest thing I could find though that I think was the original color. And for something like, you know, this is cast iron. I would have preferred brush, but this particular uh, color, they don't offer it, you know, in like a quart can. So I did spray paint it. It does, it kind of, it kind of hides the imperfections, but, you know, you can see where this came out of the foundry, you know, and they just, you know, took a grinder to it, kind of smoothed it up, you know. It's a vice though, you know, it's not a piece of furniture. Now I didn't record the, you know, rebuild or restore, refresh process. There's plenty of other videos, you know, but I use I use my four inch angle grinder with a, you know, different various wire brushes. And then I used a smaller wire wheel, wheel on my 3 8 electric drill to get into some of the tighter areas. If somebody has more info, you know, on who the actual manufacturer of these are, you know, I'd love to learn more myself because I'm definitely no expert. I'll show you the other one I got. It's you know it's quite a bit larger. <laughs> it has a uh, six inch wide jaws, and again, you can see the FPU. And the guy bought. I forget what he said the brand was. He did say this came out of his father's shop. And again, real lucky, all this, you know, I've put a screwdriver to it and all the screws came out very easily. This one's going to get overhauled as well. I'm just, the color I want to put on it, it just seems hard to get here in the USA. I think you can see some of the original color. This one looks more blue versus green. But it'll also get the overhaul. This one, it doesn't. It doesn't have made in Poland in front like my other, but I'm 99% sure this one was also manufactured in Poland. And again, handle is not bent at all. You know, no hacksaw mark. Well, I guess there is towards the back here. And when I reassembled the smaller one, I just I put some fluid film behind the jaws and uh, anti-seize. I put on all the screws in it, but not the, the vice nut. I just I put grease on that. So I did use three different kinds of lubricants or preservatives when I put it back together. Try and go around the back here. <laughs> so 
So again, you know, that's just me with my oddball stuff. I I tend to gravitate towards stuff that isn't real popular with other people here in the USA. And you don't come across these often. And luckily, you know, they don't go for uh, big money either. For both of those vices uh, together, I paid $200. If you look at the bigger one here, I don't think it's going to clean up as nice. Again, I'm not making museum pieces. This nice, quiet, smooth operation. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed a quick look at my Made in Poland vices. And as always, thanks for watching. Any questions or comments, you know, leave them below. Always happy to answer what I can. Thanks.